What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Relevant, okay? Yeah, today, me and SpongeBob just chillaxing, okay? Ain't doing too much. Um, I think the only thing I have on my agenda is go get Loops a big girl bed. She has one of those three and the three or four in one cribs or whatever, and we took off. She's been sleeping on it where we lowered the bed and we took off one side. And um, it's just, she just needs a bigger bed. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop for her uh, um, a twin, um, basically because she's getting bigger and she's getting older. And I mean, eventually she'll get a fool and a queen and stuff like that because that's what I got when I was little. I actually went straight from probably a crib to a twin. And then as far back as I can remember, my mother said I had a twin, but I can remember having a full-size bed at age four. So I don't know. And no, we had no money. We was broke. Okay. So yeah, y'all, I decided, first of all, yesterday... Today is January 25th, but yesterday was my official, what I call, loop -aversary. Um, I was officially diagnosed with lupus three years ago on the 24th of January. Um, all I can say is I've come far in my journey. I wish I would have documented when I was in the hospital and stuff like that to give you all more in-depth look at what happens on the downside of lupus. Um, I think I'm going to start doing that more. I'm going to just start randomly picking up the camera and just recording myself or whatever. Because what's the point of having a YouTube channel loosely based around my lupus um, if I never really document it, you know? And then I think I don't really document as much because I don't really go anywhere or do anything. But even still, even that struggle, you know, somebody can relate to. So, we all know where this box came from. Amazon. And by the way, this video is not a paid ad, so let me put it out there before I get flagged. It's not a paid ad. Um, maybe one day in the future, who knows? I'm going to put that out of my universe like I always do. But no, y'all see I did my nails. I've been looking at this product and been wanting to try it for the longest. And you know how you look at reviews and stuff like that? See, I have to look at a number of reviews in order for me to actually be sold on the idea of buying a certain product. So... Let's go ahead. I decided to make an unboxing so I can share what you guys. Plus, I'm eager to get the package open. And I've been saving it since yesterday. It came in yesterday. Um, and one thing uh, about Prime is if you get SNAP benefits or what we call food stamps, you know, EBT or whatever, you uh, can sign up for getting half. Um, I think normally Amazon Prime is like $12 or something like that per month, but you can get it for even a fraction of, well, probably half the cost if you have EBT or Medicaid and stuff like that. So, basically, here it goes. All right, y'all. Y'all know y'all seen the thing. What's this? McCart? McCart? Um, y'all seen those kids where they've had... Um, the little poly, what is called poly gel, it's a material. It's um, like be, to be able to do your nails, your own nails at home without having to deal with polymer, which is the powder that they use in acrylic, um, and or monomer, which is the liquid that they use to put the acrylic on your nail to make the powder, you know, that pasty thing, and then, you know, the pasty consistency or whatever, and they put it on your nail to form a nail. So, in unboxing this, like I said, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to buy this kit for the longest, but you always hear, like, all oh, it comes off after a couple of days and stuff, and I was like, well, I don't know. Um, but I kind of got sold on it because I did look on Amazon. The best thing about Amazon is that you have people to actually review. Some reviews are paid for. Don't get it twisted, but they have some that are verified purchasers because um, they ask me to review my stuff all the time. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, in the box, as you can see, is a little booklet or whatever. Then in the kit itself, you get three um, poly gel uh, paste or whatever you want to call them, gels. Um, I got it in clear and pink and in nude pink. So it's probably a little more translucent pink than, you know, like a solid pink or whatever. Probably look more like a nude at the end of it. You, I see you have a top coat. And a base coat. Um, clearly, we know the base coat goes on, I guess, the actual nail. And then you have the top coat. Um, 
it didn't come, of course, well, it, I didn't expect it to come with one, but like a UV light. I'm assuming this is the kit, of course, that doesn't have the UV light or whatever involved. Because, of course, those kits cost a little more. Um, I debated on getting one of those kits, but I'm not sure if I'm going to really invest in that yet. I want to see at least how this goes. This right here is Nail Surface Cleanser. I'm assuming it's probably not as strong as a nail polish remover. Mm, well, it smells like it, like a nail polish remover. So basically, you know, to strip the surface of your nail of all oil and dirt and stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get this out. Oops. Alrighty, so put this back. So you get, like I said, the three gels, nail extension gels. You get the top coat and the base coat, and you get the nail cleanser, which is basically, well, the nail surface cleanser, which is probably not on the well, question. It's more like an alcohol, too. So it's probably um, not necessarily like a nail um, remove, like the nail polish remover. I think it's like what they call slip. And slip is like if any of you have ever gone to the nail salon and got that dip powder or got some gel nails or whatever, and they wipe the alcohol and stuff like that to get the sticky film off of it so it'll be shiny and stuff like that. I believe that's pretty much what that is. Um, well, ain't this cute? You get the brush and the picker. It's a brush and a picker. So let's see. Oh, okay. So you got the little brush, you know what I'm saying, to brush and mold and shape your nail extension. Let's see if I really focus. Uh, I hate this. Okay. That's the brush side. And this right here is the picker. So apparently the picker is something like something that uh, you use to kind of scrape the material off or whatever, or whenever it's time to take the nails off. Um, and this is real cute. It almost looks like an ink pen or something. Or a wand or something. This I love. I love these real um, coarse um, emery boards or whatever. They're just like the ones that they use in the nail shop. I usually would go get one from like Sally's, the little rectangular, uh, squared off, cornered off. Um, it's like real wide, probably about this wide and about this length. And I really love that foul or whatever. And you talking about some somebody that, I mean, you know, you can really just shape your nails to your desired shape or whatever because of the the grit, the material that it's made out of. I really love these. These are sturdy and they last a while. Um, these are nail formers. Now, for those of y'all who have never had nail formers used on your nail, I know a lot of the times when you go into a nail place, a nail salon, um, they have, they'll put the nail formal, which they tuck this part up under your fingernail, like right up under your nail and they close it off. And it's like your natural nail is um, resting on the um, the little sticker or whatever you wanna call the nail former. And that's how you lay like acrylic and stuff like that. You know how you've ever like cracked your nail in the middle or something like that and they're able to fix it. Most of the times instead of, especially when they're not able to put a fresh new tip on there, you can use a nail form or whatever to, to help form you a fresh nail without using an acrylic, I mean, a, a fake nail tip or whatever at the salon. Um, they also, let me this out. They also come with nail formers. Now, this right here, now, you know, normally you go in a nail salon, you see the nail tips that are in a container like this. Instead, the this nail former is more so like you're putting on Lee nails, but I believe what you do is that you put the poly nail material on. You put the poly nail material on and um, you spread it. You also, I think you can also use the picker on this and you spread it or whatever in, um, gently into the nail former. You place it over your nail as if you're putting on a lead press on nail without the glue. And I think you kind of have to wiggle it a little bit so the material adheres to your fingernail. And I believe that's why you have the base coat because any base coat goes on the base. Basically, it, it lays as a foundation, you know, on your nail or whatever. So you put the nail former on your nail or whatever and you wiggle it off. And then you basically just commence to fouling it with the nail, fouling and shaping it the way that you want it to look. And then um, you put a top coat on it and... Once the top coat dries, I believe that's when you take a cotton ball or a piece of tissue or a paper towel, your choice, 
and use the nail cleanser and wipe it off to create, you know, wipe the, you know, use it as a slip or whatever to wipe off the sticky debris or whatever. And then you have shiny nails. Um, of course, I got on my lead press ons. I had been waiting to take these off so I can try this. Um, I think I'm going to do all my nails to see how it goes. And then I'm going to say one nail to do on here and I'm going to um, record it and I'm going to upload it. So I just wanted to share with you guys a little, little lightweight unboxing situation and I will holler at y'all the next time I do another video. Don't know right off again when I'm going to do the nails or whatever, but whenever I decide to do them, I'm going to make sure I leave one nail blank, one finger blank, so that way I can go ahead and do the um, poly nail. Now, I, well, I guess somewhat like a lightweight tutorial or whatever. I'm not that great at tutorials or whatever, but we're going to get through it together because y'all fam. You understand what I'm saying? So, I will holler at y'all next time I do this video. All right? Peace. Oh, and by the way, this cost $26.99. I was about to forget. It cost $26.99. Of course, when you have Prime, there is no shipping. So just a key point, when you do go on Amazon Prime, I usually go on the app on my phone. When you go on Amazon Prime, make sure that um, you click the Prime um, the Prime feature, whatever, the Prime switch, so that way it can give you all of the products that fall under Prime. That way, no matter how much the price is, you won't get charged for the shipping. Um, yeah, you won't get charged for the shipping. And it has, um, if you click on the left-hand side with the menu with the three slashes, what I mean, the three lines or whatever, on that menu, you will see where um, it'll drop down and it'll have like your orders or whatever. And you click on your orders and it has a great tracking um, thing because the good thing about it is I get notifications sent to my phone anytime I do order something and it helps me keep up. It gives you kind of a, a time guesstimate of when it's supposed to arrive because um, mine will be as close as the apartment complex over and it'll say, well, your package is like 10 stops away or something like that, even though it really ain't 10 stops. But, you know, hey, just give me your ballpark. But yeah, y'all, I appreciate y'all for being patient with these videos and um, catch me next time. Peace.